everybody welcome back to another episode of simply unprofessional i'm your host webby join me tonight we got devin hey guys what's up i'm devin and we got rob hey you guys it's rob so this week we were requested by a listener dave to watch the movie wrong turn the 2021 release wrong turn which is the newest one correct devin Yes, that's one. Okay, so we just sat down. We literally just all watched it together. We're jumping straight to this SU so we can talk about it. It's fresh on our minds. Dave, man, you got to start liking better movies. That's all I got to say. It wasn't terrible. It, it wasn't terrible. Uh, I do feel it was... I don't know. There was a lot of, a lot of things that were... Very obviously wrong in the situation, I suppose. But uh, let's let's start with Rob. Rob, what was your what was your first impression? Now having seen the whole movie, um, I hate it. <laughs> oh, hold on. We I've marking this down in case you said I never said I hated that movie. Did did I not say during the movie? I'm like we're in for another wonderful Rob review on this movie. I already know. S U. Wrong turn. Rob hates. Okay. I'm not going to change my mind on this. The only thing I liked about it was the very end. But the rest of it, ugh. Like, is this is the kind of movie I don't like, where it's humans being shitty to other humans. And I have told you guys this multiple times, and I know, like, you guys didn't choose it, but... Like, like you're, you, the one you were talking about with, like, the the thing that goes up and down or whatever the elevator movie or where the hell it was like it, people being shitty other people i don't i don't like those kind of movies i hate them it just and then secondly yeah, which is it, not but is it all slasher movies just people being shitty to other people like yeah like for, no like, like, like this is a group of people being shitty to like people like so I, it just matters that there's multiples no but like, if it's just one person, like, it's a, a killer or a serial killer, it's a little different. Plus, it's not, like, I don't consider any of those kind of movies horror movies. If it, if the bad guy's a human, it's not horror to me. It's a, it's a thriller. Like, it's not, like, because it, the, the antagonist is a human, as a human, you can overcome that human. Like, it's just as easy for you to kill them as it is for them to kill you, so... Like, I see that more of, like, a thriller, oh, who's going to win? Rather than, like, horror movies, I feel like the the evil force is, like, overwhelming and evil because it's, like, from hell or from space or something. Like, I don't know. I just don't consider human-on-human horror. It's I think it's thriller. And I particularly don't like this kind. All right. Uh, Devin, what was your first initial reaction to the movie? I mean, I, I've seen it before, um, oh. and also uh, I've seen I've seen it, I've seen it before. Yeah, when uh, they recommended it, um, I mean, I I liked it better than the most. I'd say three, the last three or so wrong turn movies. I mean, it was uh, it wasn't my it wasn't my it's not my favorite wrong turn movie, but I mean, it's not it's not bad. It's so fine. Which Ooh. ones? Which ones your favorite? How first off, how many are there? Yeah, with this one that makes seven. So there's seven of these movies, and which one, this one? Which one's your favorite? I mean, the first one's pretty good. Uh, you got I mean, that's the one that has a lot of douche. I mean, it's it's bad, but it's good. That makes sense. Like none of the movie, none of the long term movies are good. Like it, it's hard to kind of get. Like let's let's look at all the long term movies. Let's let's run down the list of. Okay, and while you're doing that, can you tell me what this movie specifically is classified as? 
Oh, like, is it, it, it's a horror thriller? Yep. Okay. See, I, I would not consider this a horror movie to, to me. Like, I don't like horror movies. Like, there was a couple jump scare kind of things in this movie where I was like, nah, fuck you, asshole. Like, why'd you put this in the movie? This sucks. Uh, but to me, like, yeah, I, I could see this being a thriller movie, but like... Yeah, it's a horror thriller. I mean, uh, I think all the wrong turns are... The first one, the, the wrong turn one, uh, original wrong turn is a horror thriller. I will say this movie makes me glad that I don't go hiking. Wrong turn two is possibly, it's like it's <laughs> wrong turn two is so bad, but it's so good. It has Henry Rollins, which is like bad in itself, but like also good. <laughs> Um. Yeah, Wrong Turn Two is also Wrong Turn Two. To give you an idea, is a horror adventure movie. To the classified as okay, um, it, it's bad. Wrong Turn Three is an adventure horror as well. Um, and it's not great. Uh it's it's really it's not great. Um, Wrong Turn Four also adventure horror. There you go. Wrong Turn Five adventure horror. Um, and then you have Wrong Turn Six, Last Resort. Which is also a adventure horror movie, um, and all of all the wrong turn movies, the highest rated wrong turn movie is, in fact, Wrong Turn One with a six point one. Wrong Turn Two and Wrong in the new wrong this wrong turn are tied for second place with a five point five. Uh, wrong Turn Three is a four point six. Wrong Turn Four is a four point six, and the last two are is a four point one and four point two respectively. Okay. Now, I will ask this of Dave. Now, Dave, you were the one who recommended this movie. Uh, I threw it out there. We're, we're Obviously, we're doing it on this movie. I want to know, Dave, do you genuinely like this movie? And two, why did you pitch this movie to us? I mean, like, there's, why... no three finger. There, there's no three-finger in this movie, and that makes me upset. Um, that... What is that, that makes me upset. What Three Finger that? is the killer of the Wrong Turn. He's the main killer. So the Wrong Turn is about can. It, it was always about cannibals. It was about like a, like uh, one of those like a group of friends. It's about cannibals who like set traps and lure you. It's kind of like Texas Chainsaw meets like I guess like '90s horror. That makes sense, right? That's oh. how like the other like, but it came out like 2000. So I'd say like early 2000s. I think yeah, 2003. So All like. Right. It's like Texas Chainsaw meets like late '90s, early 2000s style horror, um, and it was literally just like cannibals. It was about cannibals trying to like mute, mute, mutated cannibals trying to kill these people. Uh, that's what the most of the wrong turn franchise is about. And this is Three Finger, and we love Three Finger. I mean, another same. visual. On the, the audio, audio. It's background. a requirement. Yeah, at this to. point, it really is. Are you putting it in um, general chat? Uh, while you're yep. looking, while he's looking for that or and putting it in, I'm just gonna say that I don't like. I don't blame Dave for liking. No, the I, movie. No, he, I, I don't blame him. Taste. Yeah, I don't blame yeah. him. I, this ugh. is just not a particular one that I, I don't, don't. I don't enjoy. care for that guy. At I guess all. they. Yeah, they must have like. They're like, oh, the skull masks will seem like it's him with the skull masks and the bow and arrow. I don't know. But yeah, that's... That's Three fingers great. But yeah, but like this, like I said, this is just the kind of movie that I don't really enjoy. With the And to clarify about, oh god, the dog just stopped. Now I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. Uh, like, to clarify about the... Because, like, movies like Scream... Like, I consider that a thriller, too. I don't really consider that a horror. But it's like, well, I mean, Scream is two people. But, like, movies like that where there's one person and they have to remain hidden and, like, they're, like, killing from the shadows and, and whatnot. And, like, you're like, oh, are they going to find out who it is? Blah, blah, blah. Movies where, like, there's a bunch of people who are the bad guys and can easily reveal themselves and they have, like, overwhelming power over the, the protagonists. Like, those kind of movies. And then treat all of them shittily or treat their whole society shittily or whatever. Like, those are the kinds of movies I don't enjoy. Rob just doesn't like movies that remind him of life, apparently, because that's life. Yeah. I basically, yeah. If, it, I mean, if be... it mirrors real life, I don't like it. Okay. Now, for the listeners who have not seen Wrong Turn yet, obviously, 
spoilers. We're going to be talking about it a little bit. Uh, and go, I guess, go watch it. And then come back and listen to this if you don't want spoilers. If you don't care about spoilers, continue listening. Um, essentially, we're going to run down real quick the premise. We're not going to go step by step because there was kind of a lot of things that just kind of escalated quickly. Uh, starts off with a dad looking for his daughter who's gone missing. And he goes to this small Virginian town, files a missing persons report, and starts asking some of the locals. Then it cuts to six weeks earlier. And it's his daughter, along with five friends, and they are going to this Virginia town because they're going to hike the Appalachian Trail. That's that's their goal. They just want to hike the Appalachian Trail. And the people that, you know, that in this town, kind of a couple of them told them, you know, just stay on the trail. Don't don't deviate from the trail because the wilderness will kill you. It's very dangerous, blah, blah, blah. None of them warn them about this foundation group that lives on the mountain. Uh, so then it continues the movie just, you know, they're hiking. They decide they're going to deviate from the trail. You know, one of the guys says he's a history buff. He says, oh, I think, you know, I think there's an old military, like a fort up here off the trail. We should go look. Um, and so they all decide to deviate from the trail and the first, I guess, trap, and and Rob might be right. Maybe this could have been completely an accident, but in hindsight, don't think it was. Uh, which kind of makes the rest of the movie skewed for me a little bit. But there's just a massive log. Well, you're BRB, so so there's a massive log rolling down this fucking mountain, and everybody sees it and turns around. And starts trying to outrun the log. So, as I brought up while we were watching this, if you're ever in the woods, and you're on, like, a side of a mountain, or at the base of a mountain, whatever, and a giant tree is literally rolling down a hill at you, do one of two things. Hide behind the largest tree you can find, and hope that that tree will stop the log in its tracks. Or two, instead of trying to outrun the log, run to the sides because the tree is the log is only going to be so long. Uh, those are your two best bets. These kids did none of those things. These kids literally just tried to outrun the log. They started tripping and falling and rolling down this hill, and one of them got splattered up against the tree. All right. Uh, well, the thing I was going to say was, yeah. Like, about halfway through the movie or whatever, when they're on trial, quotation marks, uh, I did think that maybe the vlog was an accident because of the way that they were talking. But later on, because of what the hunter told the father about them setting traps to keep people away, yeah, I, I'm more leaning towards that was an intentional trap. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, so to be fair, I mean, you say these are people being dicks to other people, Rob, but to be fair, I mean, they did warn you. They warned them. They didn't warn anybody. The townspeople warn no. people not to go out there. Part of the, that. The town. Society. No, well, no. The town. No. The townspeople were not part of that. Uh, the townspeople warned them just to stay on the trail. Did not warn them about any traps. Did not warn them about the people on the mountain. None of that. Right. No, I'm saying, but I mean, the, the, what do you call it? People warn them. The, the people who set the traps, I mean, they, they set traps to warn people to not come near me. The traps kill people. They don't warn people. The very first trap they ran into kills someone. To be fair, it killed one person. They could have turned back. I mean, true. I mean, and that was their intention was to go up over the mountain and cut across to get back onto the Appalachian Trail. Uh, they figure it was a shortcut, but they're just going to end up being met with more and more traps at that point. Uh, they should have literally just turned around and left. But, I, I don't know. Uh, this Three Fingers guy is really starting to creep me out. I need to, I need to look at a different picture or something. Yeah. Just that second fucking... Rob with all of his dots. I'm just gonna start putting. Oh, that's sort of muted. I spammed too much. There we go. There we go. That's the, uh, 
that's the picture that Happy that I, mean, I did that. I need to like like if I ever what, if I ever come to your house, which I am going to come to your house. Come to your house. I'm gonna wait till like three in the morning. And go like take that same picture like right in front of the toilet. No, no. <laughs> so no. how did like look up? What the fuck? The the second one of just a smiling face. Yep. Yeah. No, that's creepy as fuck. Um. So yeah, so one of the people ends up getting killed. They have some infighting. They it starts pouring out. They end up just they they decide to finally put up a tent and get some sleep. Uh, the girl sees for a second time what she thought is a person just outside the tent, but decides you know to either that she's crazy herself or to think nothing of it. Yeah. Also, again. They stole all their phones in the middle of the night, creeping through their tent, taking them out of their bags. They could have hey, said, hey, wake up, get off our fucking mountain, if that was their intention. Yeah, I don't, at this point, I don't feel like their intention was to just l- scare them off the mountain anymore. Like, I, I don't know, which, I mean, that brings us to, like, the next series of events. They wake up, one of the girls is missing, they make a joke, maybe she went out and was taking a piss, which apparently she was, which was dumb. Uh, but then they realize, again, all their phones are missing, so they they leave the camp to go look for this girl, and then... Does the guy get dragged by the chain first? Is that the first thing that happens? Or does yeah. the does the does the lead guy get hit by the spike thing? No, that's after. Oh yeah, he, he gets patched up. So yeah, so one of the guys steps. I don't. I don't understand this because I don't know about you guys. I've tried to make like a slip knot using a chain. Doesn't work. Um, I, I don't understand how this got wrapped around his leg or tangled around his leg so quickly. Um, normally. You would see snares and stuff in the woods made from ropes or vines because that is something you can easily make a slip knot for. So if somebody were to step into this circular loop, it would cinch and wrap around their ankle. Essentially, that is what happened with this length of very new shiny chain. Uh, and then it just it went taut. And then started dragging him through and then down into essentially what they said was like a cave or something uh, later on. Um, So you he's presumed missing and or dead. So they continue walking and they find like this little farmhouse or like this little like logging shed thing with a bunch of pairs of glasses and like just paraphernalia from people who have gone missing. And then they see two sculled figures carrying their friend tied to a pole uh, with a bag over his head uh, like like you would like a pig on a pig roast, essentially. Um, and so they all grab weapons of some fashion and go out there and start approaching these two guys who immediately start speaking at them in like a weird language that nobody obviously understands. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they're... Uh, well, no. She trans- Never mind. I was wrong. I was going to say, the guy spoke English later, but he didn't. The, the girl translated. Yeah, the girl him. translated. Um, so while they're all arguing and whatnot, the guy who was on the pole tied up a- got free. Actually, wasn't he the same guy at the end, though, that talked to her and said that when he burned out her eyes, she was going to be his? So he does speak English. No, that was a different guy. Yeah. Uh. That was the that was one of the guys at the at the council. Oh yeah, that was the one. Okay, yeah. He, he was like the skeevy looking dude. Yeah. Uh. So anyway, the guy on the pole gets free somehow of his bindings, grabs a giant stick, and just starts beating this one dude in the head. Ends up killing him, crushing in his skull. Then there's like this big debate over morality. Uh. And during this process they lose track of the other skull guy who just eventually essentially sneaks into the forest again uh then merla mirna something the girl the other girl who went missing comes back 
explains that she was going to the bathroom, but she saw the two skulled guys and couldn't reply because she was scared. And then they continue to talk about this dead body and whether or not it's murder and what they should do about it. So here's here's my my take on that real quick is, yes, I agree with Jennifer to an extent. Like this guy, her friend just murdered this man. Okay. And yes, in the sense of good moral, good morality, murder is wrong. There, sh- there should usually always be another way out of it, out, out of a, out of a given situation. I mean, not saying that these people are superheroes or this is a comic book, but think of like the the thought process of like a Batman or a Superman. There's always another way to solve a problem than taking someone's life. At the same time, I wholeheartedly agree with what they did or what that guy did. I, if I was put in that same situation, would have done the exact same thing. If I was ever snared and then woke up, whether I was unconscious or not, woke up with a a bag over my head tied to a pole and then somehow got freed, goddamn right, the first creepy looking skull, you know, wearing dude, I'm caving his skull in. I don't care. Like, I, you have no idea what they're about to do to you, what they did with your friends. You're scared at that point. Adrenaline's pushing through your veins. It, it's the guy. It, I, I will say he did the logical thing, in, in my opinion. Um, was it wrong? Was it wrong morally? Yeah, I mean, I guess sure. He could have hit him just like the first, you know, once or twice to fucking knock him out. And then, you know, unmasked him, bound him, tried to talk to him, you know, used him for safe passage off the goddamn mountain, whatever you had to do. But I don't know. Uh, I I think that in if if I were in that same situation, I probably would have done the same thing, especially if I was fucking scared. So. What what are your guys' viewpoints on 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 that situ on that scene? Uh, I mean, I don't I don't know. It's it's very a very gray area, I guess. Like I could see his point. Like, yeah, they trust you up like a thing, but then like the, when they presented the evidence at trial, like that could have been true. As the movie went on, I didn't believe them anymore, but, <laughs> I mean, it could have been the truth, and then you're like, oh, I killed this guy who was trying to rescue me, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, looking at the scene, the the two guys did put them down, and then they did, although not speaking English, because they probably didn't know English, uh, they did start trying to at least talk to them. They didn't immediately draw weapons or anything like that, like the teenagers did. Yeah. Um, probably a safer bet in that situation would have been to initially take your mask off your face to, you know, show that you're less threatening. Hmm. Uh, Devin, what about you? What are your thoughts on that particular scene? I mean, they murdered a dude. It was probably a, mis- it was a misunderstanding, it seemed like, but at the same time, I mean, it, shit happens. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, would would you have? How would you have? What would you have done if you were if you were the one tied up? Probably the same thing. Yeah. So that was really they, and I I feel like they probably knew that, which is why they they when they did put them on trial after finally capturing them, capturing them, um, you know, they, they presented it in that way of, oh, well, he was unconscious and we were trying to get him to safety, blah, blah, blah. Um, I was gonna, at the time of the trial, I thought they were telling the truth, but as the movie went on, I'm like, I think they were lying. There's an awful lot of people with burned out eyes in this cave. <laughs> well, see, I don't even think, I, 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 I didn't necessarily, it's, it's not that I didn't necessarily believe that that's maybe what they were doing. But I didn't trust them before that because, like, you even have, like, the girl in the tiger pit. She ended the doctor girl, you know, she ended up falling in a tiger pit with, like, a spike pit. And mm-hmm. then the one guy, she looks, uh, looks down at her and she's asking for help and he just shoots her. Which, okay, 
Again, you could argue it's the same thing as being an injured animal. This guy probably knew like she was not going to survive, let alone being pulled off those spikes. She was going to probably bleed out. Yeah. So he might have been doing the more humane thing of just putting her out of her misery so she's no longer in pain. Um, but from the teenager standpoints, that, that guy just fucking murdered your friend. Like, you know, uh, I don't know. So this, to me, it's a really weird scenario uh, because, like, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to freak Rob out. Uh, we have people around here who are kind of like that. They live off the grid. They they don't want trespassers. All of their property, like, almost, like, every single tree you pass on their property has a no trespassing sign. Uh, and they will take drastic measures if you do trespass, uh, like one of the times I remember, uh, me and my mom were driving, I believe it was me and my mom. And I think we were looking for my dad or something. So we went to go see this guy in Candia that my mom knew that my dad knew. Like, I don't think my mom had really known him, known him. And he has like no trespassing signs. He lived in trailer and as soon as we pulled in, he came out fucking buck naked shooting a shotgun. It's like, Jesus Christ. All right. So, like, I, I mean, I kind of get it. You know, people up on the mountains, you know, not wanting people to impose on their, their land or whatever. But I don't I don't know. Also, yeah, okay. Rob's getting Matilda. Um, so, one by one, they all, they all started kind of getting captured again afterwards. Like like I said, the other the doctor girl ends up dying. Uh I forget. Oh yeah, as they're hiking through, they just kinda take Luis or whatever his name is. Um That's when the doctor girl in a in a panic, once they all started getting surrounded, the doctor girl fell in the pit trap. The I don't remember how they took the guy who murdered the dude. The boyfriend was just like up against the wall and a hand came down, grabbed him and pulled him up over the ledge. Um, and then essentially the girl was taken the same way. And then she woke up uh, stripped of all of her belongings and clothes mainly and in like a Silence of the Lambs kind of scenario where she's like in a, a hole dug in the ground with a uh, boarded up top and then they lowered down a bucket of water with an apple in it so she could eat and drink and then they all got put on trial they were found guilty uh the one guy was found guilty of murder the others were found guilty of not telling the truth about it um so they were sentenced to darkness the other guy was sentenced to death which they had to watch um the, I won't lie, the guy, the, the head guy there, when he was talking about the brutality of the people, he made some good points, man. Like, the civilized world, quote-unquote, I mean, they are pretty brutal. You know, you got people walking around and shooting people with guns every other day, and, you know, there are brutal crimes that happen and in a community like theirs. Uh, where they're isolated and stuff, you know, there isn't, there isn't crime. You know, everybody pitches in and does their job. Yeah, but like, what's more brutal, getting shot and dying, or having your eyes burned out and being forced into cannibalism? Like, yeah, yeah, ah! Matilda, hush. Uh, I mean, you're not wrong. That that that's a brutal punishment for sure. Um. Uh, see, I don't know. Like, yeah, I get it. Devin. Yeah. What happens next? You're being awfully quiet over there. I'm doing all the talking. Um, and I don't like it. I mean, I've seen the movie. I, I don't, I mean, it, I'm trying to like, I, I mean. It, it, they're on trial. I, didn't, it, I know, yeah, they're on trial. I mean, they're on trial. They start fucking... They uh, did you already cover? Did you already cover the part where the dude got fucked up? Which dude? Not with the eye thing. The fucking you got his face smashed like a watermelon. Yeah, it's pretty much right where I left off. 
Yeah. Was the guy who talked about brutality and then ends up killing the the guy who did the murder? Yeah, the guy gets his face smashed in like a watermelon. Then from that point, the other guy gets his eyes blinded. Uh, Yeah, which I will say, you know, Jen could have spoken up a little bit quicker. When it's right around there, when her boyfriend's about to be in trouble, she comes up with the wonderful idea of, oh, hey, well, yo, we can be useful. We can be useful to you. Um, says he's like a builder or whatever, and um, like a urban planner. Or I think it's like a, yeah, I think it's an urban planner, yeah. like an urban planner or some shit. And uh, you know, because of that, they can, he can be useful to them. And you know, they're like, "Oh, you're also a warrior, Bob. But what do you offer?" And she's like, uh, "I make a mean pot of coffee." But no, that's what Webby said. She said, "But no." She's just like, you know, um, I can. I, I'm a woman, and I offer myself. I'll be somebody's. I'll be somebody's husband or a wife. Wife, yep. Yep. Uh, I mean, which I mean, in a, in a community like that, that's. I mean, that's kind of important. Yeah, no, it is. It's important. It's important thing. It's very important. Um, yeah, so she offers to be some dudes. Uh, Wife and shit. Um, the old guy, the main old guy, decides to take her up on that offer and goes, "All right, that sounds like a plan to me. Um, that's what's going to happen here." Um, and that's kind of how how it went down. Yeah. And then and then it cuts back to her dad looking for her. Uh, it gets fucked up by some of the townsfolk who just try to rough him up to make him leave town. Like that's their way of saying, "Hey, don't don't fucking go kill yourself over this." Um. <laughs> But he decides he's going to go anyway, gets a fucking scout. Both scouts die. He takes their gun. Doesn't take the rifle, just the six-shooter, which is dumb. The rifle was laying on the ground right there. Uh, But takes the gun, finds the place eventually, gets shot by his daughter in the arm. Gets sentenced, not even a trial, uh, for the next dawn. So they decide to break out. A bunch of murder happens. Uh, then the hillbillies come to the rescue, the rednecks, they come and save the day. Uh, and then it cuts to back to suburbia. And this is literally probably the best part of the movie. Um, um, just to go back really quick, they sentenced the dad for trespassing, which is what makes me think they were lying about how they were taking the other guy to safety. Because if he yeah. the dad still like getting his eyes burned out for trespassing, technically everybody is guilty of that crime that goes up. Yeah, true. Um, so back in suburbia, the daughter drops some. You know, dad's a architect or a construction work. You know, foreman or whatever. He owns a construction company. Bring some think plans. He's go like urban commando, but I'm like, no, nah, it's just a regular. I dude. really did think so when he went up that mountain. I was like, is this where we find out this dude's like an ex marine or something? But it's not yeah. the case. He's just like a <laughs> construction company owner or some shit. Uh, anyway, she brings him some like blueprints or something for one of the buildings and then goes back home. And when she gets back home, her stepmother and. Uh, two siblings are there with the main leader of the fucking foundation is what they're called from the mountain along with Ruthie, the little psychopath girl who never smiles. Um, then they do this thing where she plays out a scenario in her head and you don't think like, I didn't know it was her playing this scenario in her head until like after everybody was dead. And then the stepmother was like talking to her and then it cuts back to her standing there just looking dumbfounded. Uh, essentially, she played out what happens if she tries to kill this guy with her family so close and ended with her family dead. So she says, you know, she asks the stepmother and the siblings, hey, can you give us a minute to talk? Blah, blah, blah. This is business. Uh, so they leave the room. And then she essentially says, listen, I'll come with you. You gotta promise you're never gonna hurt these people. You'll never come back here to do it. You'll leave them alone, and then I'll come with you. He gives his word. They leave. They get into an RV with two, two or three other people. I think three. There is one at the front of the RV, one at the middle of the RV, and one in the back. Yeah, 
And so they all get in the RV. They start driving away. Then the credits start rolling and like the credit, like the after credit song or whatever starts playing or whatnot. And this is where I was like, Devin, no, oh, man, this, if this, if this is how this movie ends, it's dumb. And Devin's like, no, 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 just wait, just wait. And then all of a sudden you see the RV driving down this road. And then it starts to swerve. And I was like, oh, she's killing someone. All right. All right. And then it crashes into a car, just a parked car. And then all of a sudden the door opens and one person like falls out and then she jumps out after them, stabbing them repeatedly. And then the driver gets out and starts running away and then she throws the knife at him in the middle of the fucking intersection and starts stabbing him. And then Ruthie just kind of comes out, comes over, grabs her hand, and then they walk away. So she murdered all the fucking people except for the little girl. Um, and that's that essentially how the movie ends. Uh, I do think the movie, the the ending was the best part. She she did finally kill the people who were coming after her. That's not to say that other people won't find her and come after her. Um, maybe if they move, they'll be safe. But because you gotta remember, the boyfriend uh, stayed up there. He he drank. He he fully drank the Kool Aid, and he probably knows where she lives. So, you would think that they'd have a way to get back to her. But, I don't know. Yeah, so this was... Uh, Devin has essentially told us this was pretty much how the wrong turns go. Not necessarily the same thing. Like, it's not just the people up on a mountain. Uh, mm. So, the other wrong turns was mainly one per One individual was just three fingers guy. No, no, it was like a first one. It was it it, it became a recurring three. It was like three fingers, and like his his family of oh. fucking of uh, creepy hillbillies. Like, his padre of creepy hillbillies. Yeah, that's what yeah. kind of what it was. I refused to but, scroll back up, but that picture made it look like he was wearing like a red flannel shirt and uh, overalls. Like, uh, is he dressed like a hillbilly too? Yeah, I mean, he's pretty much dressed like a hillbilly. Yeah. I I'll scroll Legacy. back and tell you. Yeah, yeah. Overall, is red flannel. So that was essentially wrong turn. The 2021 version. I didn't know. Um, I mean, it's okay. Movie. It's decent. I'm not you know. I now you said they're, this they're, one. They're, this one earned a 5.5 rating ish. I put the second best of all the wrong turns. All right. Now, what would you rate this one personally? You've seen most yeah. of all the wrong turns, right? I've seen. I stopped watching after like four, but oh. yeah, for the most part. Um, I mean, I'd rated pretty average, like yeah, like like a, like probably like a four, a half, five, fair on there somewhere. All right, so middle of the road, okay. Rob. What yeah. what, what would you <laughs> rate it? Uh, like two or three. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to go there. Uh, All right. Yeah, I mean, the only things I really liked about it, like the 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 trap parts, were entertaining a little bit. Um, and then the, I love the ending cause that's how I say like all, that's how I think all these kind of movies with human enemies should, it's like, you're just as easy to kill as I am. We're both humans. So yeah. Uh, so I really like the ending and points for having a gay couple as in it. Cause most horror movies or thriller movies only have a single gay person, but again, they always die no matter what movie it is. So, but this is the first one I've seen where they actually had a, a full on gay couple. So, pops for that. Hey, they're not usually the first ones to die, though. Not the first ones, but they always die. Yeah, I mean, most of the most of the people usually always die. In these uh, except for the cute white girl. Hey, then, then you know, we all drew the short end of that stick. None of us are cute white girls. Nope. So if we're ever launched into one of these horror movies, we're all dead. Pretty much. That's true. And if we're ever launched into like a cannibalistic horror movie, I'm probably going to be the first one to go. Why? Because all the meat on me. They're going to skew me up like a pig. They're going to roast me up. They won't need to eat for a week. All right, the webs. That's all I'm saying. You, uh, you yeah, should think more highly of yourself, sir. I don't. Um, I'm going to rate this movie like a f four, maybe a 4.5. Uh, 
Um, I didn't really care for it too, too much. It did make me think, and they did bring up some good, you know, so, some good questioning points. And, and it had me second guessing for just a little while on certain things. Um, and the ending was good. I was happy with the ending. So I will give it a four, 4.5. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, I mean, it's worth a watch. It, it's, I don't regret watching it. And, uh, I mean, I will say I'm. I apologize, Dave, for the low rating. If if this is you know a, one of your favorite movies or one of the movies you really enjoyed, uh, it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, though, I will say most horror movies aren't. So, uh, normally the only time that I usually review horror things is in the month of October. Uh, hmm. For the lead up to our Halloween stream, we usually do this. Or when I force Webby to watch horror movies with me. Yeah. Or like if we wanted to do like the one off, like because I don't, I haven't seen a lot of like this, like the Stephen King stuff where we did the Stephen King December, and we ended up watching a bunch of Stephen King movies. Which, I mean, like I liked Doctor, what was it Doctor Sleep or whatever? Yeah. Uh, I really, really enjoyed that movie. Uh, but I don't necessarily know that that was considered horror, was it? Was that just a thriller? No, it was horror. It was, oh. it was tied in with Whitaker. It was tied into uh, The Shining. The Shining, it. yeah. Um, I, I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. Some movies like this, I, I don't care for movies like this very much. I don't care for, like, just horror movies that are just out there to be gory for the sake of being gory. Um, I like movies like Halloween. Like, like that's that, that I like rooting for Michael Myers in that movie. Uh, I think he should have killed everybody, but, and then same thing with Jason. I hate Freddy Krueger, but that's just a personal vendetta. So, but yeah. So, I mean, that was wrong turn. Yeah, and I I normally do enjoy horror slash thrillers. It's just this is the particular one kind that I dislike, and that's not like if you like it. <laughs> I mean, I can see why like it would be entertaining. It's just not the kind that I like. It's the one particular kind that I don't like, which is why I gave it a low rating. But if you enjoy it, enjoy it. So that's well, what I'm really saying is, if you enjoy it, you're fucking trash. You, you are a trash individual, and you should be a better taste in movies. That's what Rob's saying. I, I, I'm in between the lines, Rob. I know what's up. That's exactly the opposite of what I said. But sure. Uh, I, I'm messing with you, Rob. You know I'm messing with you. Rob. I know. I know. Yeah, I know I love you, Rob. I know. All right. Well, with that being said, I mean, that's our review. Is there any closing thoughts on this movie? Either of you want to say? I mean, not, I mean, I don't have too much to say about this movie. I mean, there, like I said, I watched the movie a while back, and I'm like, oh, when it first came out. But um, I mean, there, there, there was a reason why I didn't like recommend it for like an issue. Like, I felt it was a decent movie, but I don't. I'm not saying it wasn't issue worthy. It just, I just felt like there wasn't going to be a whole lot of discussion. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a pretty straightforward movie. Kids get lost yeah. in woods. Kids stumble off Trump pond traps. Kids die. Right. Kids get kidnapped. That's... By no means, Dave. Like that's not like a, a, a dad. By all means, I keep recommending movies. Like I'm always on to watch it. I'll watch anything. I mean, fuck. I sat through fucking Life After Beth and that other, uh, the the Little Hours. I sat through that shit. Man, those that, were that, two great that, movies. That two was those were the only two movies. movies. I was I was contemplating eating a bullet. I, 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 I sat there. Cinema masterpieces. I, I sat there and I was like, I could just eat the eat a bullet. Like that that would be the that that's the logical solution here. Well I I will say I did not feel that way about this movie. I just disliked it. It is not my life after Beth. I have not found one yet. You also <laughs> so I thought that, he has not I watched thought, Life After Beth yet. I thought that other movie that I made I made you watch was your life That's after true. Beth. Yeah, I thought you hated the yeah. elevator movie. You didn't make me watch it. You just told me about it. I, mean, I made you ask you on it. I didn't make force you to watch it. Well, I didn't force me to watch Life After Beth. He just asked me, put, asked me very politely, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm just I thought, like, I'll watch I thought you watched it." And then after, and then 
And then after that, I sat there and I was just like, I, I, I'm pretty sure Rob watched that. Didn't you watch that with us? Yeah, I thought, I thought so. No, you, I like, didn't. Did you, did you like mentally just block that shit out? No, you told me what it was about so thoroughly that I was like, yeah, I would not have liked that. You guys watched it without me. I think okay. you knew I would not like it, and that's why you didn't oh, make me watch it. Right. You told oh, me about right. it in detail, well, and I was I, like, yeah, I, I would have hated that movie. I really thought, I really thought. I honestly, I, this whole time, this whole fucking time, I thought. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought Rob I'm watched sure it. That, I'm sure that movie would have been <laughs> funny. Rob actually watched that movie now. He's just like, yo, this fucking movie's dope. Like, I, I, I seriously thought he was on the SU being like, oh, yeah, that part where he did this, I, that sucked. I was, it's like, I was on the SU huh? because you guys told me about the movie after you watched it. You you guys told me about it, and I was like, I'll be on it. I'll tell them why I would not have enjoyed it. Devin, you know what movie you picked that was really good? What movie? The fucking Cube. That was a, that's a solid ass movie, dude. Yeah, that was a good movie. That's a great fucking movie. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, we need a life advice with Devin and a science corner with Rob. My life advice is going to be real simple. If you're going in the woods, uh, stay to the fucking trail. Stay yeah. on the trail. Don't, if, if you're not, if you're, if you're not, especially not experienced hikers, don't try to be like, oh, we're not experienced hikers. Like, I'm going to go off the beaten trail. No, stay. The beaten trail is there for a reason. It's so you don't get fucking mutilated by cannibals and get your face smashed in by a trap. Yeah. So there you go. That's my life advice. That is solid life advice. Uh, hey, Rob, do we have a science know? corner? No. Uh, uh, if I not, I, I do. Something. Oh, sure. Go ahead. I read yep. something that I was going to bring up, but I can't remember what it was, so. So we're doing Science Corner with the Webby this week? I guess so. Listen, I just found oh, out today. Think about Hawaii. No. Yep. Yep. No. Listen, Canada is connected uh, to Hawaii via osmosis through the water. Yep, wrap your brains around that one. Devin, you like my Science Corner? I I love your science corner, Webby. Pretty solid, huh? I'm, 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 I'm a, a fucking Webby. smart person. <laughs> Anything you do, I'm all for it, man. Nice. That, that's not a joke. Like Rob's head hurts. I made, I made his head hurt. I mean, you made mine hurt a little bit too, but that's okay. I love you. <laughs> uh, Dana, I'm here for you, Webby. All right. Well, that's our SU for this week. Uh, We're at about the 50-minute mark, so we talked about it for quite a while. Um, I will say, Dave, do not by any – like like Devin said, do not by any stretch stop recommending things for us to watch and review. Um, Sorry, this, this, this was meant to be done last week, but things had to get pushed around. Uh but we did I did try to get to this as soon as possible based off of when you recommended it. Um just know that I'm not huge on horror. Like so yeah, like if I'm you're gonna recommend gonna... if you're gonna recommend like another like four or five movies, you know, spread out over the next, you know, month or so, like can you just like don't make them I all still say movies. we have to do hush. I, I still say we have to do hush. Is that the one so with can... the, the deaf chick? Yes. I watched that the, uh, the not too long ago. Yeah, that's a great ass movie. I love that movie. And Rob, you watched that with me, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was a decent movie. Yeah, so yeah, we'll. Movie. I mean, I'll, we can we can do one on Hush. Yeah, that's I another one that. that I would consider a thriller, not a, a horror movie, because it's her versus another human, as she proves when she steals his crossbow and shoots him with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. All right. Rob, well, why does horror have to be like supernatural for you? Supernatural. I mean, it can be a single person, but they would have to have some like like how Michael Myers and Jason never die, even though technically they're human, quote unquote. Something yeah, but like he, that. He's asking why. Oh, why does it have to? Why does only horror movies? I don't have know to because be I don't. To you? I'm not like scared of humans. So. Oh, you have not met the right fucking humans, my friend. Okay. Still not scared of them. So, <laughs> oh man! Like I, I said, it, human versus human is an equal fight. Like it's there's no overwhelming odds. I, so I don't know. I just I, don't feel it. One hundred percent disagree. Okay. One hundred percent. You put okay. You against the green beret. How is that an equal fight? 
I mean, I could get lucky and puncture a lung or something. You get lucky and puncture a lung? That is a very specific and awesome <laughs> statement, Rob. I love that. I just, I, like, even when it's, it's just a human versus human element, yeah, I don't think things, that it's There's also even. things called guns that even, out, like, I mean, sure, he's a better shot, but I could get, again, you could get lucky and kill him. Like, it depends, like, either you're dead right away, or you, if you're fighting back, you have an equal chance to win. So, I don't know. I just don't, I don't find humans scary, so I don't think of it as horror. <laughs> That's why I say, it's the thriller. Like, it's like, oh my god, are they gonna kill him, or blah, 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 but like, a human as the enemy, it's like, why is that super, like, I like to be scared. Humans and an enemy doesn't scare me. It's just like, it's thrilling. It's like, oh, well, I don't know who's going to win or what the humans like are going to do, but it's not like scary to me. So I don't consider it horror. Well, I'll put it since we're Since we're going to throw out um, unpopular, unpopular uh, horror movie opinions, I'm going to throw out that uh, Hereditary Midsommar, average. Very what? average movies. A what? Hereditary and Midsommar, very average horror movies. I've never I seen mean, either one. I don't know. They are they are they are like raved about as some of the most scariest horror movies ever, and they're not. They're really just not. Like, there's one scene in Hereditary that's like legit, like hits you pretty good. Um, but like, no, I'm sorry, Hereditary is like is people not beneath scary. the stairs. People beneath the stairs to me is a horror movie that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. And I mean, all that was humans. I don't believe there was a supernatural aspect to that. I mean, the friendly guy who was in the walls had no tongue. That was about it. But I mean, to me, I don't know. That movie scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Movie really, I haven't seen in a while. That's pretty solid. When a Stranger Calls. I haven't seen that movie in a while. That's a damn good movie. Never seen it. You never seen that movie? Oh, man, you gotta see that movie. It's a great movie. When a Stranger Calls. It's a great movie. Uh, I've seen Perfect Strangers. No, no, no. When a Stranger Calls. It's a good movie. Well, what about Perfect Strangers? Have you seen The Strangers? No. You haven't seen The Strangers? Oh, okay. That's next issue. That's the one with the creepy people with the masks? Yes, that's the next issue. Hey, what's the one... I don't know if it's a horror... I guess there are some horror aspects to it, but I, I, I'm assuming it's going to be like again, like a, probably more of a thriller. What's the one that uh, the guy from uh, Jordan Peele did? Uh, Get Out. Yeah, have you seen that? Yep. W- what is that classified as? Also, is that a, is that a good movie? It's a, it's it's not bad. It's pretty it's pretty solid. I heard it was really good, especially since I mean, it, it, from who, it's, who made it. Like, yeah, no, no, it's it's a good movie, but I mean, it's just really just boils down to what you find to be a good movie, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I I enjoyed it, but I mean, I know some people who did enjoy it. All right. Well, I mean, The Strangers. That's that's one that you're recommending, so. I mean, I don't know I, if that's going to be the next SU. God, you guys going to make me do fucking a bunch of just horror? This is just going to turn into a horror movie podcast? The Strangers is definitely more like a, um... I wouldn't call it a horror movie. That that I wouldn't call a horror movie. It's classified as one, but I wouldn't call it a horror movie. I would like to say I looked up your People Under the Stairs, and it's classified as a comedy horror. So, I don't Pe- know. People Beneath <laughs> the Stairs? Yeah, I, there is no beneath. It's people under the stairs. Is the only one I could find, and it says that it's a horror comedy. You mean, wait, wait, you know when you were like a kid? Yeah, I mean, I was a kid when I saw it. I mean, the people beneath the stairs came out in 1991. It is a horror comedy film. I don't know. Scared the shit out of me. I was a, I was, I was a kid. It came out in what ninety one. Mm-hmm. I don't know how old that would have been. Mm, I 
would have been eight at the time. I don't understand. Maybe I'll have to rewatch it again to see how it's a comedy. Sure. I mean, it, it's also it says comedy horror, so it's got to have horror elements. I mean, and you were a kid, so. Yeah. All right. Well, that's where we're going to wrap up this week's SU. Uh, we've done our life advice. We've done our science corner. Osmosis. It's a good thing. Um, Rob, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me on Twitter at Professor underscore X and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Confessor X. And Devin, where can people find you at? You guys can find me on Twitter at DMP underscore Pookie and on Twitch at Mr. D3. And? And on eBay. That's right. Selling my soul. That's right. <laughs> Uh, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Jax Forest Walker, all one word, on Twitch at DM Webby, at, on eBay at Buying Up Souls to Give to Devin. Um, and yeah, thank you for listening. Keep giving us uh, recommend, recommendations, whether they're movies or just generalized topics you want us to talk about. I have the hiccups now. Uh we love you all. Thanks for listening and fuck Booster Gold. Yeah, fuck down, round, down, down, down. I can't believe that's classified as a horror comedy. I don't remember anything humorous about that movie. Nothing but trouble, though.